Good evening. I'm Linda Dickman. When two good friends get together for coffee, you never know what might happen. Susan Mann, who is the co-president of the Long Island chapter of the American Harp Society, and I kicked around an idea for collaborating on a harp and poetry event about two years ago. The Northport Arts Coalition, along with the Northport East Northport Public Library, sponsor a yearly event that celebrates National Poetry Month. Due to unusual circumstances, that event would be moved to May and would be remote. I chanced upon a copy of Edna St. Vincent Millay's The Ballad of the Harp Weaver, and our idea lit up. What you are about to experience is the fruition of our combined vision. Harpists and poets inspired by their music join together, weaving together what we know is a unique event. Enjoy your evening. I hear a harp after a composition played by Betty Parrett. He inched closer to the rocks, lured by the sweet notes of the harp and the silken voice of the siren. The air pulsated, harmonizing with the fall of the water rush, a gauzy bridal veil cascading toward him. A rhapsodic moment, he blindly followed the rising scales that sang of bliss, love, of all the intangible things he'd searched for and never found. Inches away now from the dark angels. Poor fool. Hi, I'm Christina Amrau, and this is my poem called The All at Once. Glisten and billow, bright spring. Mile for mile, rhyme melts. Climb up, lift up, sweet and smooth, delicate day. You stretch out an arm and a hand meets you halfway. Thanks for listening. Newness by Matthias Still. Beautiful strings create. Bodies sway to the ma magical tempo. Calmness and mindfulness course through your body, and your life slowly passes before your eyes. All the things you've done in your life slowly sink in. All you do, all you can do in your future is make the best of it. Nothing is set in stone. You're a new person now, and very new bones. The love I long for as rays of light slowly seep through the clouds, as soft shades of pink, orange, and yellow splatter across the sky, as birds awake from their rest, their sounds filling up the atmosphere. They are with me. I cannot quite explain what I feel for them. Their aura surrounding us both, I am safe at last, wondering what I would ever do if they vanished. But as I glance toward their direction, I realized they were all in my imagination.
shall yield. The bushes of citrusy lemons and limes begin to grow within springtime. The sun shines bright above the land, illuminating the beautiful Mother Nature's grand. The flowers bloom and shine so bright and will always shine even in the night. Bunnies hop and scurry along, dancing to the tune of nature's song. And so to underappreciate nature, it would be a travesty. So always marvel at nature's majesty. Walking through the woods, I met a man with lilacs around his neck. His eyes were the cool blue of aquamarine and sea. A fox crossed our path. His soft downy lips found mine. Crystal waters rushed over bruised rocks, drowning me in a sea of roses. We clasped hands, palm to palm, fingers entwined. Not forever, he whispered. The sky turned the color of his eyes and the sea rushed to meet us. We floated over fields of mint and sage, surrounded by blue. Spring by Eva Still. Fancy, lovely, one of a kind, wild, elegant, regal, silk, blossoms, leafy, ornamental, oil bearing magic.
Moonlight by Colin Tuthill. The sky has been dark before, raining tears of sorrow, but even in the darkest hour, moonlight will illuminate. Swaying through the darkness and never-ending beauty, moonlight will prevail.
The Dance of Life by Jamie Ann Colangelo. The dance of life moving in many ways, in us, for us, radiating through us, working to perfect us all of our days. Our lost heart's desires and all that it craves, presenting each day with or without fuss. The dance of life moving in many ways. Through people and events, yeses and nays, joining together, destroying our lust, working to perfect us all of our days. The black and white and shades of many grays, purifying, restoring all that's just. The dance of life moving in many ways. Ups and downs, twists and turns, besiege our days turning eyes upward, regaining focus, working to perfect us all of our days. Moments of clarity or through the haze, in times of joy, sorrow, tears, call to trust, the dance of life, moving in many ways, working to perfect us all of our days. The innocence of imagination. If I were a bird and not a bard, I would wake before the morning glory, shake in a mist startled breeze. But I'm a bard and not a bird. I'm awake at night, only to fly in places beyond my last thoughts. I look through windows of time, walk out of dreams into borders of lavender and sweet alyssum. You are there, persistently. Atop a dark pink azalea, sunlight passing between our eyes. If I were bird and not a bard, I would follow songbirds bow to bow, disguised in trees grown green. Even struggle through long drawn rain into the afterglow until I find you, glistening like dew on every blade of sweet grass. Until I find you, Sissel Pine, the sparrow, soaring in a meadow of yellow daffodils, a small paradise, even if imperfect. And at day's end, I will stop to reflect, 
gaze into the blue celestial cathedral and distinguish dawn from the dream. But I am a bard and not a bird, relieved that my heart has spoken. My fairy tale. I close my eyes and I am in a far off place where dragons and fairies roam, where trees can speak and flowers sing, a place that I call home. A place where knights are always charming and kings and queens sit on thrones. A place where fair maidens fall in love, a place that I call home. A place where heroes go on daring quests into the great unknown. A place where flower fields are endless, a place that I call home. A place where everyone is happy and no one is alone. A place where a single dance can change your life. A place that I call home. A place where a happy ever after is the only thing they've ever known. A place that I can only dream about. That is the place that I call home.
Illumination. Oh, how sweet the sound of heaven's light when it descends with redemption into this beautiful, brief life. Oh, how sweet the sound of heaven's perfectly crafted stars, flawless and obedient, their rainbow of colors, prison of the Creator's voice. Oh, how sweet the sound of heaven's light when it descends with redemption into this beautiful, brief life. Oh, how sweet the sound of heaven's perfectly crafted stars, flawless and obedient, their rainbow of colors, prism of the Creator's voice.
musical raindrops fall gently, barely touch garden flowers, then dramatically begin to dance, tickling tender leaves of the oak tree. Tulips join the chorus line, swaying as water fills their cups, spilling tunes on the garden's dance floor. Suddenly, storm-filled clouds gather darkly. The soft melody of silver drops grows loud. Strong wind shakes branches and tall grasses, and rivulets of water rush to wash the window where I listen to spring's rainy day symphony. My name is Maeve Carroll, and I'll be performing my poem, The Roots. The roots of my family are withered and worn. They lay in a country where I was not born. And sometimes I wonder the things they'd have said if they knew of the lives their descendants had led. They had to pack up and sell all their things, like cobbles and hammers and heirloom gold rings. Their whole lives uprooted, no songs left to sing. Off to America on steel steamship's wings. And how that boat tossed for 10 days and nights, stinking and crowded with no end in sight. Packed into the steerage without any light, praying for safety with all of their might. Did the roots know what would come of this crew? One farmer, one soldier in World War II, one built a skyscraper into clouds of blue, far from the land that they always knew. And now I sit at 15 years old thinking of stories these roots might have told. And one day I'll join them, my life brave and bold, a legacy forever I'll always uphold.
Brosalon. Underneath this forest floor, stand and listen. That murmur and trickle becomes its own coven. A morning incantation buzz starts to generate the invisible spark. Something electric charges low to the ground. A snap hush bubbles in the clearing. How does this stream steal your attention is still a mystery. Picking up speed, it surrounds. No bird or cricket makes reply. Fairies believe and even suffer in swelling heat. The sun has slipped away, blackened into gathering greasy clouds. Fountain of Breton spills water from the half-buried swamp stones. Drops fall to the seat where Merlin, in love, taught Vivian all his secrets, knowing she would betray him. Old Brocelan Forest has lost its first light. Lightning cracks out of the trapped shell. Thunder pounds its war drum and sivers the shimbles. Rain and wind weep as the veil falls, imprisoning those in love who have been unfaithful. One day, someone will return to withstand the storm, remaining faithful to true love's first kiss. Only then will Brocelon's veil be lifted and the forest can stand unharmed and free. The carpet of falling leaves will ring with drops of water and a rainbow appears, a sign of the past disaster. Magic refreshes the hollow, animals return and birds take up the tune. Creation's song fills the forest of Brusselon. Keeping promise, music calls everyone for the love of the old ways. The Lady of the Lake returns to her waters through the mists of Avalon, and the fires of Camelot will burn forever in our hearts. Tango for David, Susan, Suki, and Salzedo. Onto the veranda I step. There's music across the bay. The moon is full, the leaves gently rustle, a flourish that seems like play. 
the star is singing brightly, music takes hold, and then I begin to sway. Echoing distant harpists invite dancing the night away. Your hand gently circles my waist. We slowly begin to dance. The salt and the lilacs mingle as one. We move in the tango's stance. Our bodies, like those mingling harps, are hearts dancing with the song. The breeze enters in and lifts us. To each other we now belong. And you, and I, and we begin the dance. And you, and I, will we fall in love perchance? And you, and I, we move in a dreamlike trance. And you, and I, we tango into romance. Starlight begins to fall and we answer, answer the music's call. Wrapped inside each other's eyes while the tango and starlight falls. Hi, I'm J.R. Turek. Rise up a chromatic wakening. Dawn creeps slow across a vast sky. Sleepy-eyed sun rays pulse from a buttercup orb, resonate in soft semitones to plod slippered feet to wakefulness through trails of charcoal clouds. Shadows at sunset settled in, took hold of day, tucked it into angel wings to carry it quiet through the night, a silent sentinel over homes offering solace for the sleepless and respite for the weary until sunrise. 
Slim columns illuminate treetops to glisten green and tie street lamps to sputter off. Lith fingers curl an elegant clasp on dark, billowy curtain draped with tiny clefts left for starlight to shine down a lullaby. Restless ribbons of light pulse a beat, pull back the veil shrouding tranquility. Sun plucks feathers from flamingo clouds, paints bold strokes over indigo, an orchestra of fuchsia, orchid, a blaze of orange and turquoise. Rising from horizon line, fiery day star fills the firmament with rebirth. Bird song rises to pluck the gold strings of God's beard, brush his cheek with joy. His smile radiates shades of brilliant cerulean to cradle the song of morning light. Thank you. A woman's head upon a harp once sang a gentle song, but melodies once so sweet now sing of life gone wrong. Dreams that swelled but never lived reverberate in shadow, flesh and blood, woman child, dejected dirge of sorrow. Strings so taut on winter nights chill the captive air how can a song refresh it all when all is ever bare? She watches a mother hold her son chilled down to the bone and begs a heavenly orchestra to not leave them alone. Sacrifice me, string and all, 47 strong. Oh, help me to deliver them from this bitter song. Make me into something useful. Stroke these strings to change. Listen to my darkest plea, however dissonant and strange.
minutes woven into hours hope from hopelessness gut to woolen threads of power in metamorphosis the harp she forfeits refined beauty to practicality her rival lifting the boy from poverty and offering survival layer layer upon layer warm the boy will be while the plucking of arpeggios weaves o'er eternity My name is Carolyn Park and I'm going to be playing the old Chinese song by Marcel Grandjean. Sequestered Treasure for the Last Emperor Pu Yi for Dr. Liana Lupas for the One Book Created in the Secret Place Born to Greatness Last Wrapped in Imperial Yellow So Much Busy Centuries of Tradition to Guide to Constrict Oh Such Loneliness the Forbidden City, a place of freedom where you were free to do anything but leave. A gift to you, hidden in the secret place, you who had so much gold surrounding this silver-covered testament. Used, abused by those around you, you who wanted to change the world, changed yourself, nearly losing your life. Set free in the end to come and go, even to your childhood elevations. Your story, along with this gift, also hidden in history's turmoil, transported, unwrapped, 
caressed by loving hands and shared in the light. Thank you.